Um, so I guess I'd like to stay uh, with the market for a minute. Um, obviously, it's something that interests so many people, and the state of the market doesn't always correlate with um, what's going on in the economy. Um, and the market and its players have changed so much uh, over the past, you know, 70 years or so, 70, 90 years. Um, so many more algorithms and machines and passive event investing. And how do you think that sort of affects how the market is behaving right now, um, how it's going to recover over the next, you know, few years as the economy recovers? Um, the, the basic fundamentals of money, credit, crisis, who has what income, who has what expenses, who has what balance sheet, and how do we deal with money and credit? Those things which people often lose sight of because they happen only once in one's lifetime. This period, you have to go back to the 1930s as the last year period. Those fundamentals of what a bank is and the, and the associated process um, have existed all through time. Then it's, um, then it's like um, technology changes, technology evolves. And so the capacity to um, take one's thinking and to put them in algorithms, we've been doing this for 25 years. Um, the way we operate is to take uh, a principle, how would I deal with that situation, and write it down, put it into an algorithm, and then because the capacity to think has been radically enhanced because the human mind has a capacity problem. It's unique in invest, inventing, but it is uh, it can only process so much at so time. So when worked in partnership with the with the computer, which has the capacity to take that thinking and replicate it and do all of that leverage thinking and think in an advanced way, that is the advancement of our time. And so you're seeing that. So when you think algorithmic, it's, you know, you got to break it down as to what it is. Is it sensible cause effect relationships that are being dealt with? Uh, it all comes back to do you have understanding and are you successfully betting on a cause effect relationship? Because that's the only way you're going to make money. So, but, uh, but the computer can do it and process that thing in a much more advanced way. So that's what's going on. There will be people who will make the mistake of just applying machine learning to the markets. And that generally, that won't work because of certain things. Um, I guess I should explain because you asked so. Um, on um, algorithmic decision making, there are two ways you can get your algorithm. You can specify the instruction to the computer and have it follow that, and that'll enable, enable your thinking. Or you can have the algorithm come from putting a lot of data into the computer and asking computer, what would you do and what's your algorithm? The key difference between those is, do you have understanding of the cause-effect relationships? You must have understanding of the cause effect relationships to know what you to believe in because you can't always get that in your sample size. For example, what's happening now, you could not have run your computer and have it in your sample size because you would have to go back to the 1930s to have an analogous period. So what you it's, it is how you do that, but the capacity to learn, to invent, and to get you know that leverage, in decision making is greater than ever before. And that's the power of our time. Some will do it well, some will do it poorly, but it really comes down to, do you have the understanding of those cause effect relationships so that you know how to place the right bet?